as you know, the events in Japan aren't, aren't complete yet, and so uh, we will continue to learn more. But we're not waiting. Um, as an industry, we have the Institute of Nuclear Power Operations, INPO, and uh, they have already issued a lessons learned document. Um, in their language, IER, which stands for um, an Incident Event Report, 11-1, refers to this event specifically, comes up with four very specific recommendations that all of the power plants in the United States are required uh, to respond to. And in fact, this particular one is a very high-level document. You have to respond within 30 days. Uh, so across the industry, we're working on these uh, recommendations. Uh, the recommendations span uh, several areas that you've been hearing unfold in Japan. Um, so, for example, severe accident management uh, guidelines. What would we do um, in, a, in a very severe accident such as you're seeing um, unfold? We have additional procedures uh, beyond just our emergency procedures uh, that we put in place years ago. So let's make sure that we have uh, familiarity with those procedures. Um, also, uh, station blackout, which is the off-site power to the plant, is not there, nor are the emergency diesel generators working. Uh, so we want to make sure that those processes and procedures are in place and we're familiar with them. Uh, also, seismic and flooding, obviously two events that we saw unfold uh, in Japan as well. And so we want to make sure that all of the equipment is appropriately staged. In some cases, it's additional plant equipment uh, that has been installed, for example, post 9-11. So you want to make sure that people are very familiar with it, where it's staged, where the connection points are, um, and that the training is, is up to date uh, so that we're familiar. And we're also, as we're stepping through all of this, um, making sure if we identify any vulnerabilities that we're capturing those vulnerabilities and acting on them.